Next, let's talk about the slice tool. Let's go into our subtool palette here, grab a sphere 3D. Um, if we want to make this resolution a little bit lower, we can go down here to initialize, and then for H and V divides, let's type in like 24 for each. This makes us, uh, allows us to see our slices a little bit better. I'm going to go up here to make poly mesh 3D, hit W, go into the gear icon, and then choose slice. Now, this is going to be a simplified version of the multi-slice here, and I'll show you that in just a second. And if you want to go back to the older older deformers, go to my YouTube channel, go down here to ZBrush 48, what's new in my playlists, and that'll walk you through the previous deformers from the previous version of ZBrush. Uh, this one's new to 2018. So you're going to see we have a slice width here that you can change. You can say if you want X, Y, or Z symmetry, and over here you have inflate. So much simpler than the multi-slice. You can grab this dot right here, and you can go ahead and choose to slice uh, vertically, horizontally, and you're going to see I already have some settings dialed in. Let's go ahead and change these back down to our default here. So you're going to see by default, you just have a slice going through here, and let's hold down shift and you can snap to zero. So the default is you just have a slice, it's going to slice through your object, and then if you move this up, you can slice either left or right, up or down or both. If you don't want to slice, say up or down, just snap it to the middle, and it'll go ahead and snap to the middle, and then you can just do a left or right slice. But if you want to do both, you can just drag up and to the right, and it's going to slice both of those. Let's go ahead and put in a slice width so we can see it a little bit better. And you can see this slider, and again, if you hold down shift, it'll snap to point increments. Uh, but we can go ahead and just dial in our slice width. And if we want to do it symmetrically across an axis, if, say, we want to do the x-axis, just take this x-symmetry here, and we're going to change that to mirror. And now it's mirrored on both axes. You can change it to the y-axis as well. And now we're slicing in the x and y-axis. And again, just wherever you move these dots is where it's going to go slice through your mesh. Our other option over here is our inflate. So you can either deflate or inflate. It kind of runs a Q-mesh operation on here. So we go ahead and inflate this out. And then one more thing, this little yellow cone right here is going to either apply creasing or not apply creasing. Uh, if you're doing hard surface work, it might be a good idea to go ahead and apply your creasing. Hit that gear icon, hit accept. And now if you go down here, for instance, to your geometry dynamic, just turn that on. You can do D and shift D, toggles that on and off. And now you have a nicely sliced object with polygrouping and it very quickly and easily allows you to just slice through a complex or not complex object and you don't you're not stuck here trying to use your slice brushes like this. Now if you did want to use your slice brush you can hold down control shift tap your space bar do a B radius and now when you slice through it'll give you a brush radius let's do shifty it'll give you a brush radius as you slice so that's another option for you uh, but this one's a little bit less destructive than that method. If we take this undo slider here, we just drag that all the way to the left so we go back to our original sphere. If you hit W and we go to the multi-slice, this one's going to be a little bit more complex. It has a little more control as well. You can um, So you can move this dot around wherever you want to slice. The first thing you're going to need to do, though, is tell it which axis you want to slice on and also give it a slice width and a slice resolution. So you're going to see if we set that resolution to 2, 1 is just going to be a single slice. So you can see we can slice left or right, and we're all, we can't go up and down an axis, we can only go the x-axis because we have the x-axis turned on. Um, and then if we set the resolution to 2, now we're going to get that strip, uh, and the, this one actually goes beyond 2. You can slice all the way up to, I don't know, 100 or so. So you can set how many slices you want in here and how wide you want that slice to be. And if you go through here with your Y resolution, you can go ahead and crank that up too. So we just set that to two and then set our slice width. Now you can do an X and a Y slice. And if you want to do Z slice, you just have to give it a resolution. And now you can do X, Y, and Z slicing. Go to this side. You can slice in the Z direction this way. So similar functionality to the slice tool. And again, you can go in here and you can apply creasing on or off. So now if we do apply creasing here and we go ahead and say, hit accept. We can go in our Z modeler brush, BZM, hover over a face. We can do Q mesh polygroup all, and now we can Q mesh these faces in and out as we need to.